All right. So, Pass VGC wants us to play Star Trek in Arcade Mode! Fix my shelf. <laughs> I am stuck in the whale. I don't know where to go in the whale. So, we'll figure it out. All right, Star Trek. Is this the... I think this may be the last game we played. Maybe not. What's the high score for Star Trek? 56850. It is the, actually the last game we played because that's still the high score up there. 56850. <laughs> but it was a fun game. So it is. It's been very confusing. So I. We took on some sort of like crazy monster and then we got jump. But now I don't know where to go. Get Pinocchio back. So we're going to do a little bit of arcade mode. So maybe after this, we can finish out uh, Monstro. Anyway, all right, let's play. Welcome aboard, Captain. Entering sector 1.2. Sector one point four. Entering sector one point five. Sector one point six. Damage prepared. Sir. Oh well, <laughs> we didn't. We didn't do very wow. well. It's like, it's like, it's like they saw the Star Wars game and said, <laughs> "I want that, but worse." But worse, with Star Trek. <laughs> All right, here we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Entering sector one point. <laughs> Entering sector one point. 
entering sector 1.3. Entering sector 1.4. I, I definitely thought I had that one. So there's something about this. There's like a UFO looking thing that you can't approach, but if you go away from it, it gets closer to you. Then you turn around and shoot it. And it looked like it was worth lots of uh, points. And so that's why I was trying to get that whenever I could. Although it ended up like I was getting hit more. So maybe that's not a good a good thing to do. Anyway, all right, that was two. Let's play third. Welcome aboard, Captain. Entering sector one point two. Entering sector one point three. Entering sector one point four. Entering sector one point five. Entering sector one point six. Damage three pairs. Damage three pairs. Entering sector two point one. thinking <sighs> Man. it's how, how did i get 56 or 850 <laughs> well you definitely have to beat that that level right there in order to progress so all right let's play it one more time it almost looks like they spent more time programming the star trek moving and the sega moving <laughs> than the actual and not game. on the gameplay the game is actually kind of fun you're just like it's like weird because the the 3D part there's well a lot of the screen is taken over by the the 2D radar really right yeah welcome aboard captain cling on. It would make more sense if it was the Kobayashi Maru. Entering sector 1.2.
entering sector 1.3. <laughs> Entering sector 1.4 Entering sector 1.5 Entering sector 1.6 Entering sector 2.1 Entering sector 2.2 Congratulations, high score. There we go. Oh. <laughs> you, you only got P. <laughs> well, oh well. P. <laughs> Sixty-seven, five two five. <laughs> New high score. <laughs> so, oh, so Neil mentioned uh, it should have been Kobayashi Maru. Well, the interesting thing is, uh, when I was a programmer, the f the first thing we had to do in one of my first programming classes was to program a game, and I did Kobayashi Maru. <laughs> And it was, I thought it was quite unique because it was supposed to be like a maze game, but it was, but I turned it into basically three Klingons. You're the enterprise and you just had to get from what point A to point B. So See, that was much more ambitious than the first game I wrote in a programming class, which was guess the number. Guess the number. <laughs> and you could just always go wrong. You never win. No, you could win. You, you got could three win? chances okay. to win. You it could. would and it would tell you higher or lower. 